Hey, you, I need you to hit that subscribe button. Subscribe. Sister, brother, what's happening in Israel today? Say it one more time. Wars. Wars. I think you were saying the same thing, right? Yeah. So war. Exactly. Exactly. Now, let me ask you this. This is what phase two or stay, step two of this question. What does that mean for you? Give me Matthew 24. What does that mean for you? One more. I keep. What's up? He keep coming. I keep forgetting. Yo, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. Yeah. Or somebody you want? I got you. All right. What that mean for us? Huh? Right. That's what that we we got it. We we don't know how important we are, so we don't know that everything is 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 happening because of us. We don't know that. Watch this. I'm gonna show you something. And this is a little bit. I'm gonna need you to stick with me, bro, because this is this. You know this. I'm gonna take you on a little ride. All right. I'm going to need you to stick with me. Watch this. 24. Yeah, come on. Matthew, chapter 24, verse 6. Now, this is Christ speaking. This is the New Testament. And you know, y'all ever been to church before? In church, they teach you the Old Testament don't mean nothing. It's done away with all that. Right? They teach you the law. We ain't got to do. So just in case you, believe, you happen to believe that before we teach you that it does matter, this is the New Testament. And Christ is speaking. This is who's speaking right now. Right? Read. And ye shall hear of wars mm -hmm. and rumors of wars. So in the last days, let's wait, start from verse 4. Yes, just so that we understand when Christ is talking about. Come on. Verse 4. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. It says, Take heed that no man deceive you. So today we're deceived typically. What's your name, bro? Jamel. Jamel what's your name, sis? Asani. Huh? Asani. Asani and Jamel. I'm Jonathan. All right, so the, Christ says, take heed that no man deceive you. So how we're deceived today is that we think that those things happening in Israel today are not, they don't pertain to us. They don't mean anything to us, right? That's what we think. And they don't necessarily, like the beef ain't, we ain't in the beef, but it's happening because of us. And it's in the Bible to happen, right? Watch this. I'm, I'm going to finish this in Matthew 24. And then you got it. Come on. Verse 5. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ. So in the last days, many shall come in Christ's name, saying they are Christ, right? Like this thing here. Teach. We taught that this is who? But we read, what does Jesus look like? Like us. Yeah, he look, when we read, he looks like us. But we accept this as Jesus Christ. That's what we accept. We see this automatically in your mind. Boom. You get a Jesus piece. He don't look like a black man up there. Right. What he look like? That. Right. But we know plainly, we read plainly, he's a black man. Not only is he just like, like me and you, we, we, you know, they call us light skin and all that. No, Jesus ain't light skin, bro. He black, black. He purple black. Right. Unmistakably black. Not, uh, 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 could he be black? He might be mixed. No, nah, bro. No, nah, he's straight up black. Straight up, straight up black. He will be called a Negro today. Right. All right, watch this. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ. Many has done that. Whether it been in doctrine or plainly in, in, phys in uh, physical appearance. Many has come in Christ's name saying they Christ. We know plainly that he don't look like that, but we accept it today for some reason. Watch this. And shall deceive many. That's, that, that's proof that many of us accept that. We can know plainly that ain't Christ. We would rather tell ourselves, ah, the Bible confused. We actually know that Christ looked like this. We say, ah, the Bible said Christ looked like that, but it means something else. That's what we tell ourselves. Many shall be deceived. Many shall be deceived. Come on. Verse 6. And ye shall hear of wars uh -huh. and rumors of wars. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. The reason why we went to back to the top is so that you can understand where in time we are. Where in time the Bible is referring to. Because I'm sure if ever you've picked this book up, you don't really understand. You don't know how it you know, applies to you. How do you use it? How do you, right? That's most of us. It's because we were lied to out of it. Right. We were never taught the truth out of this. So we were taught Christianity. We was taught even sometimes Islam out of the Bible. Sometimes, 
The Bible ain't talking about Christianity, Islam, Catholic, Baptist, and none of that. Right. None of that. This is our history book. This is our book and only our book. T only our book. Nobody else. All right, read on. See that ye be not troubled. So let's say, don't be troubled because you see that happening over there. Watch this. Because that's the wars and rumors of wars, right? So in the news, like if I pull my phone, if you pull your phone out right now, you cut on Google, you're going to see, and talking about the, the war that's happening over there, you're going to see this country saying it has to intervene, meaning enter into that war, right? That's the wars and rumors of wars. Watch this. For all these things must come to pass. So Christ is saying all these things must come to pass. Why must they come to pass? Huh? They, they well, it, it, it's it's going to happen. They rumors for now. Rumors just mean it's, it's it just talks of it. They just talking about it right now. It's going to happen. It's definitely going to happen. It's inevitable. The news even says that it's inevitable. War, World War Three is inevitable. It cannot not happen. It must happen, right? Go ahead. I'm listening. Mm -mm. I'm saying, why is that? Read it again. For all these things must come to pass. Why is Christ saying these things must come to pass? Yeah, it has to be done. But for who and why? For you. For you. For the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans who don't think they nothing in this world today. That's right don't think we just got to tell ourselves as a, as a rub on the back hey you as royalty you come from greatness you come from royalty but do we really believe that no we don't we just say it because we need to tell ourselves something because we so low we die on TV we die on TV. who else is like, get put to death on TV bring it out and you just get to see, you see it all on YouTube who dies like that only us. That's shameful. That's so. Lo that's low. That's no honor. That's no dignity. Right? Come on, officer. Read. Finish that. But the end is not yet. The end is not yet. Not quite. Watch this. Verse seven. For nation shall rise against nation. Nation shall rise against nation. Nation shall rise against nation. Guess what? All nations apply to that. All. Not just them over there. All nations fall under that. Watch this. And kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences. You know what a pestilence is? I give you a modern day pestilence. Why you got that thing around your neck? Why you got that thing around your neck? What's that for? Huh? Pestilence. Right. It's for pestilence. What's up, bro? Pestilence. You are in the last that Christ is walking you through the days you are now walking in. Right. That's what he's talking about. This ain't never this ain't been before, neither will it be an after. He's talking about right now. That's right. Come on. And there shall be famines uh -huh. and pestilences uh -huh. and earthquakes. Let me, hold on, let me let me let me make that a little bit layman. Y'all remember what happened when this COVID thing first popped off? What happened to the stores? Y'all from around here for a minute? Like maybe last couple of years, right? What would this thing look like when that stuff first popped off? Back in March? Well, let me see. What? March? April? May? It was packed. They cleared it out. They cleared it out. Now, we live, in, we live in Babylon the Great, right? We live in modern Egypt. So, whatever it is here was better off than everywhere else for our people. Because our people are all over the earth, right? right? So in Barbados, it was naked, not nothing. You might be able to find a bean on the shelf, right? In Africa, far worse than that. Christ is talking to all his people. So you gotta understand that's talking about everywhere all over the earth. So even though you've seen it as pestilence here, I mean, as a famine here, you can only imagine how bad it was the other, some of the other places our people was. Right. Complete and utter famine, come on. And earthquakes! And earthquakes. What was that place that had an earthquake? Was it, uh, what was that place that had an earthquake uh, that never had an earthquake? It was on the East Coast in the States. Um, 
I know uh, Mexico had that terrible earthquake. Uh, what was it? I want to say Delaware, man. I want to say Delaware. It was somewhere in the, it was in the United States on the East Coast. It's never had an uh, earthquake. Never. So there shall be famine, pestilence, and earthquakes. Come on. In divers places. Mm -hmm. Verse 8. All these are the beginning of sorrows. All these are the beginning of sorrows. You know what the sorrows is? The end of this world. Right. The end of this present day that you live in. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.